Tuesday mornings, we talk to our neighbors in business, and the segment is brought to you by North Star Bank. And I'm delighted to have back with us in the studio Hugh Morgan of Satchel's Barbecue, which just opened up their their second location in downtown Ann Arbor. Hugh, good morning, buddy. Good to hey, see you. Good morning, Martin. Thank good to you see you. for joining us. How long has it been since the first Satchel's opened up on the east side? How many years has it been? So, now? believe it or not, we opened up uh, the Washtenaw location seven years ago uh, on Valentine's. Valentine's Day, I and so it's been that long. I know already. time flies, ah, <laughs> and it's been a big success from the beginning, from the get-go. Yeah, it's been seven great years. I mean, that's been a fun, fun location. Um, you know, we were, we were. It was nice to be on the east side. We're near Ipsy, which is a great community for us to dip into. Uh, a great barbecue loving community. We're still right in the heart of Ann Arbor. We're right on Washtenaw, kind of tucked away a little bit behind that Verizon store, uh, yeah. but it's People worked out great. It. It's just been a f- fun, fun, fun location. What, what's your background? How did you get started in the restaurant business? Here? So that's a that's a long sorted story. Uh, so uh, I actually my background is in business. Um, so I was in kind of banking and real estate. Uh, for a number of years, uh, for ba- my entire, for virtually my entire adult life, I came here for uh, school and just ended up staying thereafter. At U of M. At U of M. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I'm originally from Alabama um, and uh, Birmingham, and so uh, when the mid '40s, kind of when that oh seven oh eight uh, Great Recession came about, which was so much fun for many of us in the, oh. the banking and finance industry, and for many of us everywhere. Oh right? yes, for right? me, yeah, it right, was absolutely. Quite that a was, roller coaster. Yeah, 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 missing those days. <laughs> hey, they may be back. Who knows? Who knows? Just stay tuned. Um, <laughs> so that was really an opportunity for me to kind of reevaluate and think about what I wanted to do. I was 45 at the time. Uh, I liked what I did. I had no grievances with it, but I wanted to try something that was a little closer to my heart. Hmm. Um, I always loved cooking. I always loved uh, barbecue, and I just thought a kind of simple eatery that harkened back to when I grew up in Birmingham I thought would work here, a simple little barbecue eatery like that. Um, so that's what I shot for. And I, I actually, you know, it's funny, when I, when I run the business now, I every single day think about the types of places I ate at as a kid, and that's always kind of informs my decisions mm. about do we should we do this? Should we add this to the menu? Should we do it? Does it feel like something you would see if we were driving through Tennessee and we pulled over and got barbecue at some place, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. or not? And if it doesn't, then I say let's take a pass on it. It could be a great idea, but it's not going to work. But it's for not going to. Yeah. Yeah. So why, anyway, why the second location? I'm sure you got your hands full keeping one restaurant going. Yeah. As successful as it is. Yeah. And and what led to you opening uh, the new place on West Liberty? Yeah. So there's a little bit of an out of the frying pan into the fryer type feel to it right now because we're several <laughs> weeks fryer. in. I like that. <laughs> you know. So, uh, you know, I just I like the idea of it. I think when something uh, well, I like you know the the first restaurant went well and. I just thought I've got really good, young, energetic people working for me. Uh, I wanted to give them the opportunity to expand, and a second location helps that. I thought the idea and think the idea will work. Um, so a second location has been something I've been working on for a few years. Mm. The downtown spot was not something that I was dead set on by no. any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it became available. And it's uh, it's a little scary to work in downtown because there's just so many great, great uh, restaurants and eateries downtown. Uh, but I thought I'm going to throw myself in the ring and see how we do and, and have some fun with it. Um, so it just came about really as a result of a long sequence of searches. When that building became available, I jumped on it. 221 West Liberty, the locale of the, the new um, Satchel's Barbecue, which opened up on uh, Valentine's Day. Um, hours? And uh, uh, are you open so seven days a week, six days a week? Uh, well, right now, we're, we're still trying to figure out the hours for downtown location. 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. right now. That uh, six days a week closed Sunday at the downtown location. Now, we will be getting a, a liquor license, oh. and we'll be offering bottles of beer probably around June. 
And so my guess is we will modify those hours. <laughs> Beer and barbecue. What a combination. I, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful match made in heaven, in my opinion. <laughs> it's great. It truly is. Uh, I know the, the first Satchels has done so well, and I think I think it's the perfect spot in downtown Ann Arbor, too, because there's nothing really else down there doing what you're doing. No, doing not doing so exactly. Well yeah, not not getting the cookers out there in the front and kind of doing all oh. that craziness. Um, oh, no, but, smells. Yeah. Yeah, we, oh. we definitely try to pursue the aromatic marketing. So it's, you know, when the weather warms up, we are an incredibly seasonal um, food. People think of us when it's warm. Um, oddly, in a blizzard, people don't think of barbecue. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're excited about once the spring comes, uh, getting some picnic tables out front and having some fun times with, uh, with our customers and really building a nice little neighborhood presence um, in, that, in that location. So we'll see how it works out. I love it. Hugh, I'm delighted for you. Thanks hey, for stopping by the station. Buddy. Thanks, Martin. Good to see you. One of our neighbors in business. It's Hugh.